Okay. Yeah. Bosco, uh, could you tell us about this place? Yeah, we started this a uh, few years back with a little bit of uh, reject stock from Mandovis, and uh, it's, we slowly found out that it uh, it was really something that uh, the foreigners especially looked forward to, and uh, we grew from then. What's it called? Uh, we call ourselves JJ's, the name of the bookshop. JJ's. Yeah, JJ's. What's yes. that stand for? Uh, J J is J. Actually, my I've got two kids. J for Jonathan and J okay. for Judy. So okay. that's how we've uh, ended up with that name. Now I, uh, we have a restaurant that we also name J J S, and I in Konkani, as everybody knows, J means to eat. I see. So it's got a double meaning right now. But that's it. And uh, the bookshop has been our pride because we have been on the. Uh, what makes uh, you special? Uh, the type of books and mostly the books that we get from Europe, meaning we pick up from the Europeans most of these books. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have Sydney Sheldon and we have the Wilbur Smiths that the Goans uh, normally are used to, but we have a sec uh, quite a few books that uh, you don't get in Goa normally. Yeah. So that's what makes us special, and uh, we've uh, we've had quite a lot of uh, books coming in through the years. How many books would you have in now? Uh, <coughs> around uh, two thousand at a go. Uh, and we uh, we have learned that we do not want to overstock because then people get confused. So we just try to keep uh, the top bracket. So these are mostly bestsellers which are going to the tourist market. Yes. And uh, what's the breakup? Fiction, non-fiction? Uh, yeah, we have we have uh, <coughs> fiction, non-fiction, romance, a little bit uh, exceedingly on <laughs> romance, but uh, everything almost. Could you just introduce us to the shelf? Yeah. Side? Okay. <coughs> we have a small section here which is. Uh, Basically, non-fiction that includes guides, uh, autobiographies, true stories, uh, and that sort of uh, section. And the rest of it is a mixture of uh, uh, French, German, Swedish. Books and in English. different languages. Uh, yes, I mean we are dealing with tourism. We are, um, truth be told, we've had a little bit of a downflow this season around. Yeah. Uh, few French people, few Swedish people, few Germans. But there was a time when uh, we used to deal. We used to have sections specially only for certain languages. Certain languages. Yeah. Now we've done, we've uh, lowered that uh, amount basically because there's not that many people coming in. But foreign tourists do read a lot in that sense, no? When they are around. Uh, yes, it's always been that case till the present uh, since last season. Basically, one reason being they're not getting uh, free time to read on the beach. Their reasons uh, is that they get hassled by the hawkers, but they still read, yes. and uh, yes. They always come in with books. They don't uh, watch TV or things like that. They yeah. normally sun ten and a book in hand. What's your model? I mean, what's the pricing and uh, things like that? Yeah, we tend to be. Uh, I mean, to a uh, to an Indian or to a Goan, we are slightly on the higher side because when you say second hand bookshop, you expect it to be the Bombay type of rates. No, yeah, that's yeah. not how we deal. We deal. Uh, we are by putting up a decent price, so we put value to these books. Yeah. You know, and that's what makes it uh, special. And people find and we we keep our books in a proper standard. No dog ear, no duplicates. I you see. know the no pirated stuff. Uh, so that's what is something that we have kept standard. Yeah. And there's not much competition for books here, no. In that sense, there are not many bookshops no, in this belt. No, they, uh, this is the fact of the matter. Around a couple of years back, there was a heavy competition. And we all satisfied ourselves, but uh, now the reading habit or the lack of tourism, call it what you may, has uh, shown a downtrend. And the competition, as some of them at least, have wound up. And we were competition to ourselves. We had a couple of other shops which we've shut down. Your own shops? Yeah. That was one yeah, close by 200 meters Tito's, away. At Tito's. At Tito's. Yes. Yes. And one in Kandalim, and we've shut down basically because of. Uh, Number one, it's tough to get people to work for you. Yeah. And number two, the reading is not as lucrative. It's not as fast as you think as, it would exactly, be. Exactly, exactly. But but I think in that sense, it's it's also undertapped probably in Goa. No, we uh, we need to put in more skill and more work into this field. Yeah, true. But the thing is, uh, number one uh, is the youth. Which direction are they taking? My personal view on this is most of them, uh, rather than a book, they would be happy enough to be the mobile in it. Yeah. So that's something that we are uh, is. Affecting the reading habit. Huh? What are the kind of bestsellers that move fast here? See, now that's a good question you ask because uh, yeah, through the years we've always found re uh, really good uh, bestsellers and people coming in for them again and again. But as the years went round, gradually it became Dan Brown's uh, Da Vinci Code for three years running till the movie came out. That was the bestseller. I see. But after that, uh, this season around, I wouldn't be able to uh, point a finger on any bestseller because nobody's. Uh, 
I think again it's tourism. The lack of tourism is what's making it uh, difficult to yes. really put a finger yeah, on it. Yeah, you know? yeah. And this is the heart of the tourism belt in that sense. Any other part of Goa may not be so dependent on tourism as Baga, Kalangut, Kandu. I, I wouldn't say that. If you uh, reflect back, I think the whole of Goa depends on tourism. Though we do not see it in the open. I mean, people who do the stationaries and stuff, they they operate. Bosco, can you show us around, uh, like some kind of variety? So this is non-fiction, and then uh, yeah, no, non-fiction says uh, if you come in a bit closer, the uh, autobiographies, a few guidebooks, a few guidebooks because we're coming to the end of the season, so yeah. we've learnt uh, not guide to keep guidebooks to Goa, uh, guidebooks to Goa, to Nepal, to where uh, people look out for strange places like uh, yeah, Greece yeah. and uh, Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, they you never out. know where people travel. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's it. True stories, a few books on Goa, yeah. like the churches of Goa and things like that. Okay. And uh, sometimes bird books. And the bulk of it is thrillers and uh, romance. Of course, we have this problem where Goans don't read and uh, things like that. But do you think, uh, you know, in a few years' time, we could think of an antiquarian bookshop, like how they have in some European cities, which actually add a lot of value to books. It's not just cheap second-hand books. Yeah, po possibly, possibly. I mean, uh, I'm not really into this, but uh, let's put it this way. From my experience of people wanting to read, and when I say uh, we are more foreigner-oriented, it doesn't mean that we've not been getting people from Bangalore and Bombay yeah. really taking a liking yeah, to the bookshop. Yeah, yeah. So yes, we have people who are intellectual and really want to read. Yeah. But the question is how to get the numbers because in Goa the problem numbers is always there. Exactly. It's a small place, scattered exactly. market. Exactly, and we are a little bit in the corner and. Uh, We've never really uh, wanted to advertise because we've been doing fine enough, you know. We don't, yeah. we, we never needed the, to advertise ourselves. Yeah. But in this present day and age, yes, we could do with all the clients that we can get. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other books? The, uh, uh, again. Other the, languages? The, uh, uh, the other languages are French and then we have German, we have Swedish on this side. Yeah. And uh, these are only the three languages we handle, basically okay. because the other languages there's no value to the books that much, or there's no readers, or we the numbers are not large enough to and, justify. And we cannot understand the language. At least French we can understand a That's little bit. Uh, Swedish we can get the gist of what it's yeah. all about. Yeah. But uh, books like Russian and uh, you don't Hebrew, have a clue. Yeah. Hebrew we don't know what they are about. That's In true. fact, we've had Israelis giving us books saying they're very good and they've been outdated guide books. I see. So, I see. So we've been a bit uh, careful about this that. This model of buying, you also buy <coughs> second-hand books or, or no? From yeah, yeah we, are okay. not, we definitely buy second because all these books, uh, though some people tend to think we're getting them free, yeah. no way, nobody gives you free, those, those days are all gone. Yeah. And uh, these are all bought books. So you've been an expat, returned expat yourself, you were in Tanzania? No, I won't say that, I was, uh, I am literally, uh, I won't say I was born here, but uh, I've been bred here. So but you were born there of six. in Africa? Yeah, in Nairobi. Nairobi, yeah. okay, 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 okay. And uh, in terms of the reading habit, what could be done to actually push it in a place like Goa? Because things seem to be going from bad to worse. Uh, I mean, if you want a truthful answer to that, uh, ban mobile phones and ban television. <laughs> so, aside from that, I, I, I can't see what can really... I, it's it's a nature, I guess. If you get the nature in the, in the house... You have to catch it young. And yes, reading exactly. habit is a habit. Exactly. In that sense. So, I mean, during even our even, time, even libraries are in short supply. I remember, there used to be a library in no, Kalangut, li government no, library. No, libraries make no <coughs> sense anymore, basically because books are expensive now. You so know, all the more sense the libraries. Uh, not exactly because libraries uh, they run at a loss. They, I mean, they, government libraries and things like that. Uh, government libraries would not be able to afford uh, the That's variety true. that is there. They would be able to give you the basic, yeah. uh, normal, on the road sort of yeah. uh, books, and that also uh, with a pinch of salt because books are expensive. Mm. You know, you go to the bookstores and uh, even Broadways and uh, it's not like before. Yeah? You pay, you have to pay a bit of money for these things. That's true. So, and the uh, library, because friends of mine ran a library and slowly but surely they ran at a loss because uh, yeah. some, it's a universal thing. Library books don't, uh, they're not meant to come back to the library. So, <laughs> that's, they run away, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, our beauty here also is that when you buy the book, you are, you are free to return it back. Yeah. And you get half the price back. Okay. So that's made it uh, really uh, attractive for the foreigners to read. Take I another see. one, come and take another one. So it's one. virtually like a library in a sense. Yeah, yes, without uh, giving, uh, putting us in the danger of running, uh, losing our books. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So. Uh, there were some other li uh, libraries working on a similar model at uh, Kalangut and Anjuna. Yes, uh, there still are. There are still some of us, uh, some other places operating the same way. 
but then again, as I said, it's not only me, uh, it's not only us. Everywhere there's been a bit of a downtrend in reading habits. There is definitely a downtrend in reading habits. I have a feeling even in Europe, uh, the reading is not as, uh, as it used to be. So this is something, blame it on credit crunch or I don't know. Uh, it's not, and I mean, really it's easier. Me personally, I used to read a lot. Yeah. I used to read a lot. Uh, now you just don't I, have time. It's so easy to just sit in front of the telly and switch yes. on. <laughs> or oh, even the computer takes a lot of time. Yes, I'm not so much in the computer, but yeah. yeah. Thanks so much and all the best. Yeah, Maybe thanks. unless you want to just show us around the other rooms or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay.